Should you buy the S22 Ultra or the Pixel? 10X optical zoom, 4X optical zoom, $1,200, $900, S Pen included, no pen. This should be a straightforward decision, right? Hmm. If you're on the market for a new Android this year, you might be tempted by the new Samsung S22 or the S22 Ultra. I was tempted too. In fact, I just ordered the red one. But is that the best option right now? And before we go on, I wanna be very open and honest with you. I've used iPhones and Apple products since they were called Macintosh. So I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that I'm an Android fanatic and that I know everything about Android because I don't and I'm not. But I do love what Samsung and Google are doing and brands like OnePlus as well, they've been doing some great stuff from my user experience perspective, and I've actually switched to the S21 Ultra last year, so I'm not that much of an Apple fanboy. I just like to give credit where it's due, and I know that there are many Android options out there, but when it comes to top flagship devices, let's face it, Samsung and Google sort of dominate the Android market for smartphones. I've been trying the Pixel 6 Pro recently, but I can imagine that for you, after seeing the S22 release, you're probably thinking, which one should I go for? Or maybe you're just a tech enthusiast like me and you want to know more about these two devices. I've ordered the S22 Ultra in red, which is a custom color or online sort of custom. So a little bit like last year when I ordered the S21 Ultra in Phantom Brown, we're going to have to wait a little bit for my red one. There are quite a big difference in price, right? So the question is, is the S22 Ultra going to be $300 better than the Pixel 6 Pro? I think it will be very close between the two phones when it comes to performance in general for most people. If you're like me and you only use your smartphone for you know standard things like day-to-day -day work and very basic gaming and content watching, listening to music sometimes, you know, podcasts or whatever, you're probably not gonna see too much of a difference between the two. The display is a little bit bigger on the S22 Ultra and both have a very similar resolution, but the camera is the main difference. Or I should say the cameras. There's a big gap between these two when it comes to the cameras. The battery is much of a muchness, you know, about 5,000 milliamps on both, but the Pixel 6 Pro does have a few tricks up its sleeve and I believe that it does make a serious contender, not just against the S22 Ultra, but against the iPhone 13 too. I know Apple fans, the ecosystem, AirDrop, yes. And you're right, if you rely on these Apple features for your workflow, it won't matter how nice Android 12 is and, you know, and how nice looking these devices are, you're stuck. Going back to S22 versus Pixel, if you're someone who relies a lot on high quality pictures and, and videos, or someone who really expects the best performance for gaming and multitasking, then based on the features and based on the initial reviews that I've seen so far, the S22 Ultra will be the best device for you. Why don't we get a little bit more practical here? Let's take the S21 Ultra device here, for example. This device is still a fantastic device. I actually switched to this phone from my 12 Pro Max last year, and I was extremely happy with it. It wasn't until the 13 Pro Max came out that I thought, from a camera perspective, the 13 had the edge a little bit. And I think it will be very close now again between the iPhone 13 Pro range and the S22 lineup. But that doesn't mean that the Pixel is the lesser device here, not at all. And I don't think that either the iPhone or the Samsung S22 Ultra will be able to improve on is the ease of use. We must not underestimate how beautiful the Pixel 6 Pro experience is. If you're able to get past the software bugs that Google are still trying to iron out, there's not much that the Pixel can't do. I did another couple of videos on this device for you. I'll put a link here, but even as an Apple user, I'm still in awe of how easy, how comfortable, how sophisticated the Google Pixel is. Out of the three phones, the Pixel 6 Pro is light, it's comfortable to hold, and has some really nice sort of intelligent features. Don't get me wrong, I love what Samsung does with the camera, you know, they seem to deliver every year, and this time they've done it again with the, with the camera capabilities. You know, at a first glance, they're really incredible. I try to ignore all of the reviews that focus on specs, or the ones that do those crazy battery drain tests because I'm not interested in that. I'm, I'm interested in 
real world sort of scenarios, you know, how you and I will be using these devices. I think it will be really hard for Samsung to beat some of these intelligence features that you get on the Pixel, you know, the speech to text, the call screening and artificial intelligence uh, in the photo editing, for example, you know, the features like Magic Eraser, really exciting times. And I'll see you and your smiling faces on the next one. Really put up a fight And now I'm losing sleep